Hey everyone, as I shared last week, our first half 2022 investor sentiment survey delivered a really strong reading, reaching its highest level since 2015. In this week's video, I'll show the opinion discrepancy between real estate investors in general compared to those who own each property type. The opinion gap is pretty significant in some cases. I'll also share the insider perspective that likely drives the opinion gap. Then I'll tell you how much investors think the values of each property type will go up in the next year. Let's start with apartments. 36% of the surveyed real estate investors think it's a good time to buy apartments, but 43% of active apartment owners consider now to be a buying opportunity. Most people see the high apartment prices and assume these properties may be priced at a peak with unsustainably low cap rates. But active apartment investors see a broad-based housing shortage that won't go away soon and record low vacancy rates. Apartment investors think values will rise by 8.6% in the next year. Next up, hotels. 32% of the surveyed real estate investors think it's a good time to buy hotels. On the other hand, 45% of active hotel owners think it's a good time to buy. In general, people think hotels are still getting crushed in the aftermath of COVID. The insiders know that occupancy rates for limited service hotels are basically back to pre-COVID levels and the average daily rate for limited service properties is now higher than it was before the pandemic. Hotel operators anticipate values will rise by 7.3% in the next year. For industrial, 40% of the real estate investors thinks it's a good time to buy. They think industrial is doing well, but prices are a bit high but 58% of industrial property owners think there's still a buying opportunity. That's a big perception gap. The insiders know that supply chain shortages have been a major factor, driving the need for increased local warehouse storage to cover shipping shortfalls. Industrial investors think values will rise by 7.4% in the next year. The perception gap is narrower with office with just 19% of investors in general thinking now is a time to buy compared to 28% of the insiders. Most people are unsure when or even if people will return to the office. They think office demand may weaken significantly, but the insiders know that office absorption has been positive and rising for three quarters in a row. There are pockets of strength, especially in the suburbs. Office investors think values will rise by 2.4% in the next year. Retail also has a big perception gap with 35% of current owners seeing an opportunity to buy compared to just 20% of all real estate investors. The sector wasn't hit as hard as many perceive and as COVID mandates loosen, retail has a strong recovery trajectory. Retail investors expect 3.7% price growth this year. Self-storage has outperformed expectations, with 42% of real estate investors seeing a buy opportunity compared to 54% of the insiders. Self-storage vacancy rates are at an all-time low, and the construction pipeline has been thinned by construction material shortages. Now for our last property type, seniors housing, that actually has the widest perception gap. 48% of investors think now is the time to buy seniors housing, but 70% of the insiders see opportunity and they expect 9% value gains in the coming year. Seniors housing was hit hard by the pandemic and it's beginning to recover as most people know. But the reason the insiders are so optimistic is because the sector is going through a consolidation cycle. That's pretty much an insiders only game because operating profitable seniors housing properties in today's climate requires infrastructure, strong operations, economies of scale, and industry seasoning. To wrap up, I wanna highlight how the perception gap reiterates the many opportunities that are out there. I also wanted to demonstrate the value of having an expert insider's perspective on each property type and location. Consider the unique insights local specialists have and how it plays into your investment strategies as you keep your eyes on the horizon.